got Brent Primus back here on the program. He's going to be t facing uh, Tim Wilde in the main event of Bellator Birmingham. Brent, how are you, man? I'm doing good. Doing good. Awesome. That's good to hear, man. I know you're in California right now doing your camps uh, out there. Uh, how's that going? I must. I know it must be a little bit tough uh, with, with uh, you know the little one at home. Yeah, I mean the the training's awesome. Uh, I couldn't ask for better training. I'm training my butt off, losing so much weight out here. Um, but yeah, I mean it sucks being away from my family. I miss my little boys so much. And but uh, when I'm out here, you know, I just uh, train my butt off because I know I got to make it worth it. So, but uh, yeah, man, I miss my little guy so much for sure. Let's talk about the last fight with Michael Chandler. Very entertaining matchup. I think a lot of people counted you out, and you definitely made it a fight. Um, that was back at Bellator 212. What do you take away from that performance? Uh, what did you learn the most that you can bring into this fight? And I learned a, a lot, you know. Uh, it was a crazy fight, you know. A lot of things happened. But, um, man, I learned to just be patient. And uh, um, I really got to start fighting uh, not just for the finish. You know, I got to, like, start trying to win the rounds and, and, be, and being smart and stuff like that. And, and I got to change my game plan. It's just not going my way and, and stuff like that. But, um, man, I, I, I'm feeling good. I, I feel great. Um, I'm training with really good guys, and I'm excited about this main event in uh, Birmingham. Did the layoff, you feel, impact you in the fight at all, or do you, do you, or was that not a factor? Um, I mean, a little bit. You know, I definitely would like to fight more, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now, supposedly – I'm hoping to get three fights this year, and so that's gonna, you know, make a big difference. You know, um, I was wanting to fight Chandler way before then, and just so much things happened, and just got pushed back so long, and there's a bunch of bull crap. So hopefully nothing like that happens again, and I can just stay busy and get at least three fights this year. I wanted to ask you about that quickly. I just, you know, two more things on that fight. Um, you know, did you were you disappointed in the, in the media's coverage with that? I noticed there was a there was sort of a narrative being pushed that you didn't want to take the fight, but I don't think a lot of people were bringing up that you know you became a dad and you had some injuries and things like that. It seemed like the the, the sort of the bias in the media was very slanted towards him. Did that bother you at all? Yeah, it bothered me a lot, especially just on Bellator since too, because Bellator knew what was going on and and they literally you know, gave me a date to fight Chandler. And they're like, no, he doesn't want to fight you. He wants to fight somebody else. I'm like, what the heck? That's weird. And that's when he fought, uh, Yamiuchi, yeah. whatever. And so, uh, and then, uh, they kept on saying, he's going to be ready. He, you're going to fight him. And they didn't want me to fight anybody else, but him. And so I was on hold waiting for him. And I got, I did get injured one time, but I was waiting for months and months and months for that guy, you know? So it just, I, I'm definitely not happy with the media and kind of how Bellator did it or whatever. But, um, you know, that's their guy, Bell, uh, Michael Chandler. So, <laughs> Um, is, or is there still bad blood between the two of you or did you guys settle that after the fight? Um, I don't like the guy at all. I mean, he's, uh, just talks crap and he's, uh, he's a, he's a little shithead, man. I don't like that guy at all. And I cannot wait to fight him again. And, um, that's my goal, man, is to get there and fight that guy one more time. First time fighting outside the U S if I'm not mistaken, how excited are you to, uh, you know, fight internationally on this fight? Yeah, it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be cool. I really... I would rather be fighting in the States so my family, all my family could go. You know, I, was, I actually signed a contract and I was supposed to be fighting in, in California and then some things happened. They scratched that and, and it kind of sucks because my grandpa and, um, you know, the whole family is going to go to it. And, and not only that's a lot cheaper than sending your wife and, you know, your family and friends to Birmingham, England. So, um, but it is what it is. It's going to be cool to fight out of the country, like you said. And um, that's what the sport's about, I think, is, you know, all the experiences and traveling and, so I got to soak it all in and uh, just enjoy it. When are you flying down there? What's your itinerary look like? I'm flying um, Monday before and I get there Tuesday and <laughs> it's a long flight. Yeah, no, it is, especially from the West Coast too. Uh, it's a little bit tougher. Uh, what do you know about Tim Wilde? I mean, he's got a great record, 12 and 3. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Um, yeah, I mean, he's a tough dude for sure. I mean, he's got good stand-up. He moves really well. He's got good angles. Um, he's, he's good, man. He's a tough dude, you know, for sure. Um, I'm not really worried anything. Of, I'm not really worried about it. You know, I, I trained with really good guys, and you know, I, I just fought Chandler for five rounds. I'm I'm definitely confident and comfortable with my with uh, how I, I'm going to go in there and, and fight this guy. You know, I I just got to be confident with my ability, and be confident, and and just go in there and do what I do, and that's what I'm going to do. Who have you been training with for this camp that uh, that's helping you get ready for this fight? As far as training partners. Well, I mean, I mean. I mean I have like three gyms I'm training at right now, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, in Eugene, Oregon, uh, at Performance Martial Arts, I'm training with, and there's so many black belts there that I get to train with my grappling. And then I drive up to Gracie Baja, Portland, you know, three, four days a week and train with Fabiano Scherner and a bunch of the guys up there. And I've been working a lot of my wrestling with 
you know, a lot of the guys up there and, and Austin Vanderford, who's a, a beast of a wrestler who, who just had a fight in uh, Bellator. Also has a pretty famous wife too, but yeah, but, but also, also a great guy. I'm just kidding. I, I know Austin <laughs> yeah, quite well, sure. so I was just, I had to throw that in, but yeah. For sure. But he's, he's a, an awesome wrestler, man. And then uh, right now I'm at Team Oyama and um, working with all these guys and um, yeah, man, it, it, I feel great, man. I'm feeling, feeling really good for sure. How about the cut? How's that going? You said you've been sweating a lot in California, so I imagine it must be going pretty well. Yeah, it's actually, I'm a, I'm a little bit bigger than what I usually am right now in my camps. Um, I had a couple injuries that I've been dealing with, but I'm feeling 100% better now, you know, thank God. Um, but, uh, man, within just like a week, I've been down here for probably, uh, I got here Monday, so yeah, only about like three, four days, four days or whatever, and I've lost like nine pounds. And so uh, the weight falls off here man coach Oyama has us working hard and you know five six hours a day non-stop so uh yeah it's good who's gonna be in your corner for this fight uh coach uh, Oyama like always and uh professor Fabiana Scherner and then my buddy uh Moe from Eugene who holds tie pads and mitts for me and stuff how do you see this fight playing out I'm just gonna go for the finish man I'm gonna finish this guy I'm I'm gonna make a statement I I got to uh you know, I, I, I asked for Pitbull or, or Benson Henderson and um, some things happened and now I got switched to fighting this guy who's not even in the top 10. So I'm really going to try to make a statement and go out there and finish this guy. Who do you think wins between Pitbull and Chandler? Uh, you know, that, that matchup, Pitbull coming up from 45. Just uh, Pitbull being, I think Pitbull is a better person. I think he's a, a better martial artist. I think he's a better guy. I think I, I like him a lot better. So the only reason that I want Chandler to win is because I want to fight that guy for the belt, and I I want him to win. That's the only reason why. But um, if it wasn't for me wanting to fight him, then I would definitely want Pitbull to win. But man, he's he's a tough, tough guy. You know, I just think that Chandler's wrestling is going to be a little bit too much, and he's just a little bit bigger and stronger. But um, yeah, man, uh, I think Chandler's going to win that. But I, I, if it wasn't for me wanting to fight him, I would definitely want uh, Patricia to win. Before we let you go, I know you got some news as well. Uh, you're going to have another child on the way coming up here soon. How much of a, of a boost does that give you during camp, knowing you're going to be a dad for the second time? Man, it's everything. It's crazy. You know, uh, my, my boy right now is 19 months old, and he's into everything. I'm chasing him around everywhere we go, and he's you know, still in his diapers, but he's uh, starting to go to the bathroom uh, by himself. But it's just crazy to think that I'm going to have two kids uh, in diapers running around it's scary you know so but it's cool i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited and, and we're hearing it's a girl right yeah yeah it's a girl it's a a blessing man because my mom had four boys my brother had a boy i had a boy my mom's been dying for a girl and uh, so finally she's gonna get one so that's cool and then my wife is definitely i'm really excited too for, for sure what, when's the due date uh, do you guys know yet august oh no september 19th oh interesting okay and, and I'm guessing that's probably close to when your son was born, too, because if you're saying 19 months, it must be coming up here soon. Yeah, he, my boy was he's going to be turning two on August 13th. Oh, wow. Mine's September 4th, so not, not that far behind. Yeah, so there they're you go. all really close. Yeah, 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 that's good, man. Well, uh, Brandon, it was great catching up with you, man. I really appreciate it. I know you got to get to practice. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, uh, catch me at Brent Premise 155. And, uh, man, I, I thank all my sponsors. Uh, Tong jerky, man, the best jerky ever. It's delicious. Uh, uh, Roots Organic, uh, Bomb Squad Growers, and um, man, I, I, Eugene Fisherman's Market, Don Lewis Plumbing. Um, I know I'm forgetting some, but uh, thank you guys, and I appreciate everything, and thanks for having me on.